hello guys uh, welcome to the next session in this video series so in this session uh, we are going to see another important concept uh, that uh, every software engineer or test automation engineer should know so that is the HAR so what is HAR file uh, how it can help in fixing the issues uh, then we will see how we can generate this HAR file uh, once we generate it we will see how we can open it how we can uh, analyze that file uh, how we can uh, perform import and export this uh, HR file in the browser itself and the last point that is the most important point that is how we can generate this dot uh, HR file in the selenium web driver okay so probably I will take this uh, in the separate session so HR so HR stands for hypertext archive hypertext archive so basically it is uh, a file type in which all the network logs can be found okay so whatever data it is uh, there in the HR file will be in a JSON uh, keys and value format okay so network logs means uh, let's say uh, you try to access any application from the client so you can uh, send the request from your computer you can send the request from the mobile itself right so we are trying to access any application which is running on this server okay so to access this uh, application uh, we will send request from this uh, clients okay so for example i send some request here so when you try to access this application different request uh, different types of request will be sent over the internet over this network and that will be sent to the server okay so you can access this application from the mobile also so this process also same for the different types of clients okay so there will be different uh, types of requests that are getting triggered from the clients over the network and that will be given to the server okay so once that uh, validation is done from the server side server will give you the response okay response to this uh, request okay so server will send the response and accordingly uh, we will be able to see our application web page on this uh, different clients okay so whatever uh, different types of request are getting uh, sent to the server through this network and whatever response we are getting from the server to the uh, clients all these details will be available in the network logs okay so not only request and response uh, we will be able to see the different headers uh, different params uh, different cookies then different timings of this request okay so there will be different types of request and we will be able to see which uh, request is taking how much time okay so what are the different apis getting triggered and we can see that which api is taking how much time okay so according to the timing also we can decide if it is a server side issue or if it is application side issue so whenever as a tester when you find any issue in your application you just have to uh, create a dot hr file for that page and you just have to share that file to the developer so that uh, developer can analyze that issue uh, analyze that uh, what are the different requests and their response their timings and accordingly they can find the exact root cause like where exactly the issue is if it is uh, uh, in the application side or if it is toward the server side or it can be the your internet issue as well so as a tester you should definitely have a good knowledge about this hr file uh, how to check this network logs how we can uh, save this dot hr file from the browser and how to preview that file how to check the different uh, request or apis getting triggered from that file uh, checking their timing their status okay so not only uh, in your real-time projects but for interview point of view uh, this concept is very important so as an example let's take uh, the example of uh, this gmail.com so if you inspect this page okay so if you go to this network tab here you will be able to see what are the uh, different types of requests uh, that get triggered when we access this web page from the google so if you refresh this page you can see there are different types of requests that are getting triggered from here and their type is also shown here so some of the requests are from style sheet then text html script okay font xhr okay so there will be different types of requests uh, getting sent over the network and we will get the response from the server okay so here you can see their status also 200 means it is success how much time a particular request take that is uh, shown here okay so you can sort this request according to the increasing or decreasing order of the time so here you can see 1.1 seconds so this is the request uh, which is taking uh, the most time 1.1 second and other requests are taking less time okay 
and at the bottom of the page you can see there are 30 requests uh, totally and 1.4 mb transferred 1.8 mb resources and this page finishes in loading in 8.60 okay and dom content loaded in 1.06 second so that time you can uh, see for a particular request uh, you can see here that uh, uh, different timings is here how much uh, that request is waiting for uh, getting the response from the server okay so this request has waited for 1.08 second okay from the server side and this is the time for uh, downloading the content 4.8 second so this request the complete time uh, for processing this request is 6.68 second okay so there will be different uh, information you can see here and if you click on any particular request from this list uh, you will be able to see the headers then preview uh, response initiator and timing so from this timing tab you can see the different timings for the different operations request sent waiting content download so all these things will be showing here for a specific request okay you just have to click on that request and you will see what are the headers okay so here is the request method get method status code is 200 then uh, response headers is there uh, content length content type is font okay so all these details are available in this network logs in the network tab okay so all the details are very useful uh, if you find any issue or if you want to analyze that uh, which uh, request is taking more time and what are the response we are getting for different request okay so that we can see on by clicking on this uh, particular request and one more point is you can uh, select this checkbox if it is not selected uh, that means by disabling this cache we are uh, getting the fresh uh, request and response each time and here we have clicked on this all that's why we are getting the uh, all the request okay so if you want to filter it out uh, depending upon the type of request that you can do from here okay so face x xhr type so there is only one xhr type uh, which has taken 147 millisecond and from here waterfall you can see the breakdown of the timings okay so here you can click on the js then css image okay so for every particular web page when we are accessing an application there will be a different types of request uh, that will be sent for the for the different objects on that particular web page okay so from all these requests we will be able to see uh, if you sort the uh, timing you will see okay this is the request it is taking more time so for example if you uh, enter username and password uh, on your login page and you click on the login button so once you click on the login button there will be a login api that is uh, getting triggered and you can see the timing of that api so if, if it uh, if it is taking uh, longer than the normal timing let's say it is taking 20 seconds 30 seconds so just looking at the time you can see that okay login api is taking more time and accordingly uh, we can log that as a performance issue as well okay so another example can be let's say you are uh, uh, purchasing any product from the flipkart or amazon so when you search uh, any product we entered the the text in the search box and you clicked on that search button so after clicking on the search button if page remains in loading so we can check that uh, from this network logs uh, we can see if it is uh, triggering the search api or not if it is not triggering that is the issue and even if it is triggering that search api how much time it is uh, taking to get uh, the whole process done okay so it should not take more time so we can check the timing as well i should get the result as soon as possible right that is what the uh, expectation from the customer point of view so all these network logs going to help a lot uh, in debugging and fixing the application issues or if it is a server side issues uh, we can decide according to the uh, different timings we can break this time uh, and accordingly we can see if it is application issue or uh, server side issue okay so for example this uh, waiting time so let's say this waiting time is around 10 seconds that means uh this request is waiting to get the response from the server side for 10 seconds that means there can be a uh, the issue at the server side so now next point is how to generate this hr file okay so for this purpose you can generate this from the browser itself so just to open the browser you can open uh, your real-time application here then uh, go to your network tab then right click on any request from this list and click on this save all as hr with content okay so this option will uh, save all these details from this network tab into a hr file so you can give any name to your hr file hr let's say gmail 
and you just have to save it so once that file is saved how we can open that file so for opening that file you can use the notepad plus plus okay then another uh, is uh, you can use the chrome plugin so there is a separate chrome plugin you can use to preview this hr file so we will see both the options okay so once you open that file in notepad plus plus you can see all the data in the form of json keys and values okay so from this logs you can able to see uh, different requests that are getting triggered their method type then headers okay this is the array of the values right so this will contain all the details from that network tab so you can see here it's a big file okay so you just have to share this file save that file and share this file with the developer okay accordingly he can fix the issue and another way uh, to open or preview this hr file is from the chrome plugin so you just need to uh, search this http archive viewer okay so this is the chrome plugin so you just need to add it to the chrome so once that plugin is added just open that plugin so here we just need to load our uh, that hr file or you can choose that file from this also so you can see once the file is loaded uh, you can see the different request are there in the form of git and then post request are there so as compared to our notepad plus plus it is quite easy to understand what are the different uh, requests are getting sent uh, you can expand this request to see the headers response okay all these details can be seen from these different tabs so i will uh, suggest to uh, add this plugin to your chrome and always use this plugin to preview the dot hr files okay it is quite useful so you just need to uh, save that file share it with your developers and they will be able to see all these details okay so depending upon all these details they will be able to uh, find the root cause of any issue and they can fix it quickly okay so next point we are going to see is how to import and export this hr okay so first let's see how to export the hr so just now we have seen how to uh, save this hr file from the network tab so same we need to go to the network tab and there we will uh, find this option okay so there is export hr option so just click on this arrow and it will ask you where to save the file and your file name okay so either you can right click on the save all hr with content or you can click on this arrow to export this uh, network logs as a hr file so both these uh, files will be identical okay only the method is different but this file will be same 1.63 mb and this is also 1.63 mb okay so this is how you can export the hr and how to import means uh, if you have any uh, hr file you can directly uh, view that file in the browser itself if you don't want to use this uh, http archive viewer or notepad plus uh, plus you can uh, import that file hr file in the browser itself from this network tab okay so let me clear this and now uh, click on this import and uh, we will import the same file that we have saved so if you click on that you will be able to see that file has uh, loaded here okay so that is how we can import the hr so that's all for this session guys uh, this point we will see in the separate session how to generate dot hr file in selenium in uh, test automation so we don't require to create this uh, hr file manually so in this session we just created this hr file manually by going into the network tab and uh, exporting or saving the uh, all the content as hr but what i want is uh, i should be able to uh, generate this dot hr file automatically when we run our selenium test cases on any browser so that we will see in the upcoming session okay so don't miss it thank you